This is the second part of a two-part video I've done on installing these 8-inch mid-base drivers into the bags of my Ultra Limited using these Hertz SV200Ls along with these SPL Bagger audio install rings. I showed the absolute easiest way to lay out these holes so that when you're finished and you go to bolt the ring on with the speaker, the fit and finish is absolutely perfect. I also cover the problems I had with the rings and what it took to uh, get a, an acceptable finish. I drew up a diagram mostly because I needed something to follow because it's a fairly complicated wiring setup and uh, got into the wiring a little bit but the last video was mostly about getting the holes cut out, getting the rings fitted properly and uh, I got one bag done but there's still a ton of work to be done so I hope you stick around. Quite confident I can put that plug back on. These are Anderson plugs. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. I think I got these off Amazon. Well, I have a minute here. I'll quickly explain what's in this harness. Uh, each of these harnesses have two power wires. They're eight gauge. Two sets of speaker wires, one in, one out. And they're 14 gauge. There's a audio in that goes to the amp and uh, a remote wire. There we go. just happens to be a heat tape. Yeah. Turned out okay. Uh, this is obviously the wire for the lid. I'm going to put the lids on a little bit later. I want to turn my attention to the bike now. And this is where the magic happens. This is the old remote wire which I'm going to cut and replace uh, with uh, those yellow quick disconnects that I have. Uh, this is the power. And this is the signal coming from the DSP to the amp. And then I have one more plug going in here. My little quad to puss. It's just going to sit in there, just something like this. And the, the wires will just go up and over the bike to the bag on the other side. Simple. This is just a filler. This is a lithium ion battery. I can't recommend these enough. Uh, I've never had a better start, to tell you the truth. Uh, these things just are great. All right, so normally what I would do to get wires from one side to the other is I would go underneath this brace here. Uh, if you ever get in there and take a look, you'll see there's tons of room, all kinds of room. But I have these two distro blocks, which are the power for the amps in the bags. So I can't run any speaker wire through here because it'll just create noise. So what I'm going to do is, on the back side of this brace, between the fender and the brace, there's actually a gap here. 
Uh, it goes right through. But there's a gap nonetheless. And what Harley does on these bikes is they run the airline through to go from shock to shock. They run that through there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the speaker wires through there. And uh, yeah, easy peasy. Okay, so now that the wires are in there, uh, I did mention earlier that it is exposed. I'll show you this clip here. You can see the wires hanging down. They're not pinched at all, so they could, I mean, they could fall a little bit. They're not going to go right down into the tire or anything, because they'll be zip, they'll be zip tied on either side. But just to keep things looking professional, I'm going to show you a trick I learned in the old country. I'm going to run this zip tie down one side. There it is. Right, and then I'll just pull them up to where I want the wires. Cut the extra tie off and there we go. Now that head is not going to go through that gap because the head is bigger than the gap. And it'll hold the wires up. And uh, all you'll see is three little, well, I mean, I'm putting three in just because I'm crazy like that. So there you go. And once the harness is in place, you'll never see them. Okay, so I had to undo the zip ties that I did for demonstration purposes. So I could pull the wires this way. And then I checked for continuity to figure out which one was which. And I marked them. Okay, in order to solder these properly, so I'm not crawling on my belly like a reptile under the bike here and trying to get under here into the shock, and this bracket here loosens off by this bolt right here. It's just a 3 8 bolt. Just you don't have to take it right out. So I just loosen it off enough to get all these wires up and get the plug up underneath because I've jammed the plug up as high as I can go and I've shortened these wires and then I'll solder them and then when I pull the plug back down to where it has to go 
all these wires will tuck up underneath this bracket. It's essentially just it's right on the frame, but it's the bracket that keeps everything from going sliding down properly because the bracket's really tight to the fender. So yeah, loosen off the bolt, pull the bracket back, and uh, I'll solder these up. A few moments later. <laughs> okay, and there's side two. We're uh, we have plenty of distance between the belt and the plugs. And uh, I know I didn't talk about it much, but this airline that runs through here, you just have to be really careful when you're prying in there with screwdrivers and the bar like I had in in there to pull this bracket back. Uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, I didn't nick it or yank on it at all. But just to be sure, I'm going to throw a gauge on here and pump this up overnight just to see uh, how it holds pressure. I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, better safe than sorry. I don't want to get the thing all put back together and then realize it's leaking air for some reason. So uh, here we go. Okay, so I threw the pump on there. I pumped her up to 30 pounds. Uh, there's no major leaks because it is holding steady at 30 so uh, i'll let it sit overnight and uh, see if there's any slow leaks okay so the next day i was quite happy about this zero in on it didn't move so no major leaks no slow leaks i'll uh i'll put that back down to 25 pounds and uh start putting this thing back together while this thing's apart, something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while now is upgrade my ground wire. You can see the lug in the back there. And the wire that comes, the stock ground wire is, is pretty wimpy. So I thought, it, what better time to do that than now? So that's what I'm going to do. And there we go it's all done I'm really happy with the way it turned out I know ideally the best spot for those speakers would have been at the back of the bag but you know what those amps back there so it is what it is and I mean I have the tour pack so I'm not really losing a lot of storage space I mean really all I really throw in there is hoodies and jackets anyways my chaps maybe so uh, I, I'm thrilled with the way this whole thing turned out and the storage isn't an issue for me uh, I do have a, a test song ready to go it's a in keeping with the music that's been in the rest of this video it's kind of a roots rock Americana kind of thing and there is about a 30 second intro before the drums and bass kick in so bear with it and so you don't have to listen to that song through the microphone of the camera I went out to my studio and grabbed a couple of microphones 
And those microphones are going into a Zoom F1 field recorder. Completely flat. EQing's flat, no limiting, no nothing. Should sound good. And actually, I should turn that on now so I don't forget. And we have the RTA ready to go for dramatic effect. And yep, so let's do it. Uh, this is the whole system. This is the whole bike. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.